the diversity in America is what makes us strong. And I think our country is stronger for it. Well, I always had an interest in law and I enjoy the interaction with the public very much. The majority of a magistrate's work is issuing warrants, setting bail, and handling hearings from law enforcement officers. I think most of all, I just love listening to people and being able to help them any way I can. Even though people might not be coming to her with the most positive situation, she just has a way of going about giving hope to others. When same sex marriage became legal, I knew because of my religious convictions, I would not be able to perform the ceremonies. But at the same time, I did not want to prevent anyone from lawfully getting married. Luckily, my immediate supervisor came up with a simple solution. They would change my schedule so that I did not do any wedding ceremonies at all. This would allow everyone to get married without any inconvenience or embarrassment. And my fellow magistrates were willing to cover for me like I had covered for them on many occasions. I think we all did work really well together. We all had different schedules in our daily lives, but when it came to our work schedules, we all helped each other, looked out for one another for family emergencies, vacations, that type of thing. Despite her immediate supervisor's solution and support from her coworkers, a higher level supervisor said that because Gail's religious beliefs were motivating her request to shift hours, that request was denied. What's interesting is that if Gail had made her scheduling request for family reasons or health issues or drug rehab or even for no reason at all, the government said in court that her request almost certainly would have been granted. But because the reason for her scheduling adjustment request was because of her religious beliefs, she was forced to choose between the job that she loves and her faith. Well, one day I was going to the courthouse doing a job that I love to do with the best colleagues that I could ask for. And the next day I was forced to leave. When my mom was forced to leave her job, it was devastating. Um, of course, it's devastating when anybody loses their job. But when she lost her job for standing up for what she believes in, it made it that much harder. Gail's original solution is exactly the type of approach we should be taking. The court in this case ruled in Gail's favor and said that when her employer refused to offer her an accommodation, when they were willing to offer so many accommodations for just about any other reason, that was discrimination under the Civil Rights Act. It takes all kinds in this world to make it a good, safe, sound world. And I feel like as long as you've got love in your heart for each other and to try to accommodate each other in their daily living, their personal life, their work environment. We can all live, get along, and do the very best job that we need to be and respect those who might not think as we do, but it's still okay. I think people envision LGBT rights and religious liberty being at odds with each other. But I don't think this has to be a conflict. I think my case is a win-win situation. I think people can live in our diverse society without conflict with respect and dignity.